Hi, I'm Sam Erith, Head of Sports Science at Manchester City Football Club. Hi, I'm Michael Richards, you're watching 442 Performance. Okay, these hurdle steps, these, will, these will act for hip mobility. So it's, we've talked about this already, but the mobility around the hip joint is really important for a footballer. Meek is a, a strong, powerful player, so we need to keep him mobile and make sure he can reach the, the uh, range of motions he needs to perform out on the field. So as he does this exercise, he'll come up, he'll hover and he'll step back. A lot of glute work again. So as he's coming up, he's controlling here, he's working on stability, but he's also working on his hip mobility. So you can see he gets into a nice position at the back there. So as he drives up and through, there's a good range of hip motion. These actions are used all the time on the field and they actually get into quite extreme positions out there when you uh, freeze frame some of the positions they get in. So it is a sprint position. A lot of this is about not just mobility, as you can see, the mobility of the hip, that's the primary cause of the exercise, but there's also a lot of stability. A lot of knee stability going on here as he controls that standing leg. Just to make the exercise slightly harder, he's now bringing his leg right over. So it's forcing him to a bit more mobility through the hip and just challenging the player with his stability on this, this other leg as well. The, again, this work would form part of a daily warm-up routine. So they go from the mat work into the hurdle work and then we'd go into the specifics from there depending which day of the week it is. This is a great one for 48 hours after a game where Mika might be a little bit tight, might still have a bit of DOMS, bit of muscle soreness from the game. We can just start to retrain his, his uh, range of motion again through the hips. A player gets a little, little fast when he all the time, you know. Um, it, you know, it's helped me because I'm quite a fast player. Uh, you know, working that little bit more on my agility and my te technique of running, it's, you know, it's helped me, it helped me massively. Uh, I think if I didn't have that, then it would a little bit, be a little bit harder for, you know, to track, to track you know, the little wingers because obviously they're, they're smaller, got a low sense of gravity and, you know, it's easy for them to go left and right, easy. So um, I'm working on that all the time and, and, and I will do from now on.